www.marketing.com. Today, Google's YouTube released cards. Now, cards are to re eventually replace annotations, you know, the bits that people will either link to or give a quote on. They're little things that get put into the video and give you further information. What are cards? Well, people who create landing pages do so so that you can get the further information of a particular thing, usually something they are marketing. People who create videos and use annotations, part of that annotation's use is to direct you to a call to action go to this page and get. Now, if you're used to going to and following the call to action, you will come across a, sometimes a landing page that says, okay, you want to put in your email address, thank you very much. Now, there's a thing called a double opt-in process and it gives the viewer, yourself, myself, a chance to think, do I really want those emails, those SMSs filling up my email box? Yes, no. See, you have the choice. That's a double opt-in. The viewer has the choice to think quickly about whether or not they really want to have that information sent to them. What the cards are doing is a similar thing. You, the viewer, view the video and go, oh, there's a message, a card. I will look at the card. I will further hit the card for the information, like a link or a quote or whatever. That is a double opt-in process. Is it going to replace annotations? The answer is eventually when the cards can do exactly what the annotations can do currently. And I'm thinking that's a brilliant idea. I love the idea. Because I personally like the double opt-in process. Now, if this is it useful to you, please leave a message. I would love you to leave a message. I will leave my email then I will also leave other resources there for you, including, of course, my SusanLewisMarketing.com page. All right, then. Catch you later.